Yud Beis Amid Aleph, who will begin Yud Aleph Amid Beis, four lines from the bottom. So we're discussing that the Kahanim, after they shecht the Tomit Shal Shachar, the Mamuna would instruct them to say certain brachas and recite Krishna, Sarasadibras, etc. So he said, Barhu Brocha Achas. Of the Birchas Krishma that precede Krishna make one of the brachas. So we had a machloikis which bracha that was. And Rosreka said in the name of Ravami and Rashim ben Lakish, the bracha is Yoitzer Or. The one bracha that they made was Yoitzer Or. So now the Imara says, Oh, the Rosreka, this that Rosreka said, that the bracha is Yoitzer Or Labatherish, if he did not say it explicitly. We learn it out from a general rule that he said, and we can infer this. From the fact that they made only one bracha, we can learn out from that that the brachas are not mark of each other, even though Chazal said we have to say two brachas before Krishna, but they're not mark if he only said one, he is yoitz of that bracha. They're not interconnected. So now, how do we derive from here that he holds that the bracha they said was Yoitzer, that the bracha was Yoitzer R? If we say the one bracha that they made was Yoitzer R, that Yoitzer R have Amri, Hainu, the bracha say Mag Vzu from there we can learn out the brachas are not marked the zu zu because they only said yeser or and they did not say ava rabba. You can see that from here that brachas, if they said one without the other, you're still yaitzer. Because like am ava rabba, so we can derive that from this from this cloud. Ella i amret ava rabba hava amre. However, if we say that the one bracha that they said was ava rabba ava that's what they said. My bracha saying marked zu zu. Where do you see from here that the brachas are not meak of each other? Dilma hai deloy amr yaitzer ar, mishum deloy malta zvan yaitzer ar. Perhaps the reason they didn't say yaitzer ar is because it's too early. Like we said before, they recited the Krishna was very early. It was right after Aloysa Shachar. That's when they shakted the Tomid. So shortly thereafter, they said Krishna, and that was too early for yaitzer ar. It was not really daylight. They said Krishna, they recited Krishna in a Bidyavadika fashion, not Lakharkhila, but it was too early for Yatsar R. And therefore they only said Ahavarabha perhaps, and Yatsar R they would have said later. The Khimata is man, Yatsar R Hava Amri. So therefore you would not be able to learn out from this Kalal the Brahsain Mak Zuazu. If you tell me that the Bracha that they said was Yatsar R Meaning, and they could have said Avarabha, but they didn't say Avarabha because of time constraints. They were busy with the Avaita. Then you can derive from here a principle that brachas are not makazu azu because they only said one of the brachas, even though in terms of the time of the day they could have said both. So there you could derive that brachas are makazu azu. However, if you say that the one bracha that they said was Avarabha, you would not be able to derive this rule. Because perhaps we would say that really, ultimately, they said both brachas. The reason they didn't yet say Yaitzar is because it was too early. But later on in the day, they would have said it. So therefore, we want to derive from this principle of Rav Zreka that he held that the bracha that they said, in fact, was Yaitzar Ar. Well, if it is a klal, why is that difficult? Why are we pointing out that he didn't say it before? She didn't say it explicitly. It's only from a klal. Why is that important? Why do we have to know that? Because the Mora says because it's not conclusive. Because the ime klala, because from this klal, maybe I'll tell you really that the one brach was avaraba. I, if it was avaraba, like we just said then how can you derive from here that maybe later in the day they did say Yetzirah and yes in Hanami they perhaps they did say Yetzirah later in the day so what does it mean when it says brachas are not maybe all it means is means as means Seder brachas maybe it means just the order of the brachas 
perhaps what he means when he says brachos are not mag v'zu it doesn't mean like we understood that if he only said one bracha he's still yaitza. Perhaps really they said both, but they only said first avarava. It was too early to say yaitzar. They said yaitzar later. And all it means is brach sein vak zu zu means the order of the brach. The seder is not makif, but you have to say both. So therefore, it's not conclusive. So it points out that this that we say that the one bracha of Zeka said the bracha is yitzur or is from this klal, but it's not conclusive. It's not absolutely conclusive that that was the bracha. Perhaps you can learn more of a daichik, but you can learn perhaps that it was avarabah. So continuing on in what they were instructed to say, the Kahanim, after the uh, Shrita of the Korban Tomid, the Korban of Seres Adibras, they recited the Seres Adibras, Shema, the parts of Shema, Vayam Shema, Vayomer Emes Vayatzev, Vayavayda, Uberchus Gaharim. Omer Yuramar Shmuel, Av Bigvul, and Bikshuli Kriskein, they wanted to institute also outside of the base of Mekdash, that also that Seres Adibras should be recited. Just like over there, they recited the Seirat's Dibras because it encapsulates much of the Torah, the basic principles of the Torah. They wanted to institute that in the Gevul and outside of the base of Mikdash as well. But they objected and nullified that because of the arguments of the Minim, the Pikarsim, who said that the rest of the Torah is not Misenai, <coughs> it's only uh, Seirat's Dibras that they heard from the Rabbi Shalalam. So, because of that, they objected and it was not instituted outside of the base of Mekdash. Tanya Namehachir of Nasan and Rebbe Gvulin Bikshuli Kreiskein, he says similarly they wanted to write recite it in the Gvulin, El Shikvar Bitlum, Nei Tarum, Asam Mine. Rav, Barbara Khanna Savalam Bikvin of Asura, he wanted to institute this in Sura to say the Saras of Dibras. Amalar of Chistikvar Bitlum, Nei Tarum, Asam Mine. A member of the Mekvin of Nahardo, Amalar of Ashik, Var Bitl, Neitaruma, Saminim. Therefore, it is not recited, it's not recited outside of the base of Mikdash for this reason. There is a whole discussion in the Paiskim. It's a common minig that when we lane a Saras Adibras, that when we recite a Saras Adibras, we lane it in Shul, that people stand up. And some Paiskim, objected to that on account of the same grounds, the same reason that we have in the Gemara here, that you're differentiating between the Seris of Dibris and the rest of the Torah. And why should you give this special preferential treatment to Seris of Dibris? Why isn't that a problem like we have over here, that it would imply that the Seris of Dibris was something more than the rest of the Torah? So that is a whole discussion in the Pais Kim. Is it appropriate to stand for the Seris of Dibris or not? And again, Every Malkam follows their minak. So it says, the Gabi the Kahan, continuing on, it says, Shabbos may see him brocha achas and Mishmara Yaitse. But on Shabbos, an additional brocha was added from the Mishmara Yaitse. So what is the brocha and which Mishmara said this? My brocha achas, Amr Khalba, Mishmara Yaitse, Amr la Mishmara Nichlis. So again, on Shabbos, they had the rotation of the Kahanim. They, the service of the Kahanim and the Beis of Mingdash was divided into different Mishmaris, into different groups, and they rotated on Shabbos. So on Shabbos they switched. So the departing Mishmar says to the one that's coming in the following bracha: Misha Shachin es Shmai Babayis Hazeh who Yashkin Benechem Ava Va'Ach Ve'Shalom Ve'Reis. The one who dwelled, the Rabbani Shalom that his Shechina dwells in this holy place, he should dwell amongst you, have uh, dwell amongst you, Shalom, Achva, Shalom, Vareyos, friendship, brotherhood, and peace. So the Mishnah said, then Makam Sha'am Rulaharech, when Chazal or Mesakin, to make a long bracha, you can't make a short one, a short, you can't make a long bracha. You cannot deviate from the Takana of Chazal, the Matbeya, of the Brochus, Shetiknu Chazal. So Pshit, the Gemara says Pshit, it's Pashat Heich, the Konokit, Kasa, the Cham, Viyat. If a person is holding a cup of wine in his hand, because of the Shekhru, and he is mistaken, he thinks it's beer. No, so the Brocha of wine is Bori Pregov, and the Brocha of beer is Shahak only a bit Vor. So Pashat Chum, Vor Chadai, to the Shekhru. So he mistakenly starts the Brocha, he says, Borcha to Hashem, Lekein, Melch, Oilam, 
and thinking that he's going to end off with the bracha of Shakal Nebidvor. The scene with the Chamra, but at the end he realized his mistake, he realized this wine, and he ended off correctly with Bore Priyagata. Meaning, so therefore the bracha actual, in actual fact, the words of the bracha are correct, but the intent when he said the Borcha to Hashem Lakinam El was the wrong intent. Yatsa. So he's Yatsa over here. Because over here, it's not really a problem. But the evidence is because the Nami Om Imam or Shahakal Nebidvora, he also, because even if he had ended off with his original tent and he said Shahakal, he's Yatsa with the Evid, you'd be Yatsa with the wine with Shahakal anyway. And all the brachas that if you say Shahakal, but the Evid, you're Yatsa. So therefore, it's not incorrect. But the Evid, it would be Yatsa. So therefore, he certainly would be Yatsa in this case. And I'll call him Imam or Shahakal Nebidvora, he also. So that's not a shaila. What is a shaila? The shaila is in the reverse case. He's holding a cup of beer in his hand. And he thinks it's wine. So now he now makes the brocha borocha to Hashem with the intent of finishing off Bore Priyagov. Which if he in fact was Messiah that way and did conclude that way, he would not be Yitzha, because on beer you cannot make a bracha, bar priya gafen, it's an incorrect bracha. Pasach, baracha daita de chamra, so that's how he started the bracha with that intent of wine, v'sim de shichra, but when he finished the bracha, he realized that it was beer, and he said, shahakal neim bidvora, my. Is he Yitzha or not? Basa ikar bracha zlinan, oye, basa chasimah zlinan, do we go basa the ikar bracha, baracha to Hashem lakeinu melechim, that is the, the essence of the bracha, and over there he had the wrong intent, and he's not Yitzha, or do we say no, but he concluded, he ended it off correctly, then he should be Yitzha, that's the shaman. Let's try to prove it from the following Tashma Shaf. It's possible the Yitzhar Or in the morning if he started the Brocha, the first Brocha, the Yitzhar Or, which was correct. But Vasim by Marva Rabim, but then he concluded it with Marva Rabim, which is incorrect for the morning Brocha. Loi, Yatsa, he's not Yatsa because you don't say Marva Rabim in the morning. But in the reverse case, possible the Mariv. If he started off with Marav Aravim, he started off with the Baruch of Marav Aravim, which was incorrect. But in the conclusion, he said the correct Baruch of Yitzhar Or. So his Psich at the beginning of the Baruch was with the wrong intent, but he ended off correctly Yotza. Then he is Yotza. Arvis in the nighttime possible with Marav Aravim, if he started correctly with the correct intent of Marav Aravim. Vesim be or, but he concluded Yitzhar or, which is inappropriate for the night time, lo Yatsa. It's the wrong brach. So he's not Yitz. But Pasaf be Yitzhar or, if he started with Yitzhar or, which is the incorrect Kavana, because it's night time, but Vesim be Maravim, but he concluded correctly Yatsa. Kalala shall dover, what is the rule? The principle is a kol holech acher hachitum. Everything goes after how you conclude. So let us bring a proof from here to our case that it doesn't matter what his intent was when he started the bracha, as long as the conclusion is correct when he's misimed, he said the right bracha, let us bring a raya that is yaitza. Mar says, no, you cannot prove it from this case because shiny awesome, the Kama Boroch Yoitzer Hama Iris. As opposed to the Brocha Birchos Hanenen, which is one Brocha, it just starts off, Boroch Hadashokein Melcham, then it concludes without a Brocha. It's Shakal Niyabidvor, it's Bori Priyagof. Over here, he concludes the Brocha also with a Boroch to Hashem. So even if his first opening Brocha, Boroch to Hashem, or was with the wrong intent or was incorrect but he concluded the correctly with Yoitzer Amoiris he concluded with the right he said Baruch Hashem so perhaps we can disregard the opening Baruch Hashem because in, in any event you have in the Hasima you have a Baruch Masha'in came in our case by the Birch Hasananin if you go back to the Chasima, you only have the Chasima, the Bor Hato Hashem, Malakainam El, the Psicha was with the wrong intent. So therefore, perhaps you're not Yaitza. So Gemara says, well, that's a viable uh, Teretz, 
And that's a viable distinction if you hold that Borcha to Hashem on its own is a viable bracha, if it's a valid bracha. Then you can say, yes, he concluded Borcha to Hashem, or in the evening, he concluded Borcha to Hashem, Mara Mari Varavim. That's a valid bracha on its own, it stands on its own. So that's correct if you consider Borcha to Hashem on its own as a valid bracha. So as long as you mention the shame Hashem, it's a bracha, so that's a valid terrorist. But according to Rabbi Yechon, who says, no, Borcha to Hashem on its own is not a valid bracha. It has to have malchus. Borcha to Hashem elekeinu melech ha'olam. So therefore, even in the case of Yitzhar Maris, you still are dependent on the opening bracha of Borcha to Hashem Melekeinu Melech HaOilam. And similarly, in the evening, you're dependent on that. And if that is incorrect, how are you Yitzhar? So therefore, from the fact that it says that HaKol Hoylech Achar Achitum, as long as the conclusion is correct, he concluded it correctly, he's Yitzhar, doesn't that show you that in our case, that would be the same halacha? And where it says no. And the cave and Dama Rabba Barwil Gedela Haskin Midas Yim Belaita Midas Yah Laila Bayim. In that case, in Yitzer or or Marva Rabim, it's not totally incorrect. Because even if he started in the with the wrong intent, Pasach with the intent in the morning of Marva Rabim, it's not totally incorrect. Because the evening, like we mentioned earlier, is that in the morning uh, you have to mention the Mida of the Laila that a Kodesh Baruch Hu created and rules over the darkness. So even if he had an intent of Marva Rav, it's not totally inappropriate. It's also part and parcel of that bracha. And similarly in the evening, if he started the bracha with an intent of the morning of Yitzhar Or, it's not inappropriate because we have to mention the Goylalor Mibnei Choyshech or Choyshech Mibnei Or, you have to mention the Midah of the day and the night time. So it's not totally incorrect. Masha Enkein, in the case of the Birchas Hanenin, if he starts off by saying Baruch Atah Hashem Elkeinu Melech, I'm thinking it's wine and it's really beer, it's totally incorrect. It's totally inappropriate. So perhaps there he's not Yitzhar. So, so perhaps that's why he's Yaitzis. You cannot bring a proof from this case. So let's bring a proof from the Seifa. It says, Tashma mi Seifa, Klala shal Dover. What is the rule? What is the principle? It says in the Bright Sakal, Holechachachitum. Everything follows how the conclusion. So Klala shal Dover, let's who you might. What is this Klal coming to include? What is it including that we have not already mentioned? My love, la suya hada amran. Is it not to include our case of the beer and the wine? Where it says, Loi? No. I tell you, it's not including that case, and perhaps in that case, if he started off incorrectly, even though he concluded it correctly, he would not be Yitzhak. What does it come to include? It comes to include the following case. Loin Lasuya Nama Vitamin, bread or, and dates, or some Rishonim learn cake and dates. What's the case? Hey, he don't. If he ate the bread or the cake, and he thought he ate dates. He was confused and he thought he ate dates. And so when he now says the bracha achreina, he starts off with the bracha and with thinking that he's going to make the bracha of Allah eats. Vesim bin Nahaman, then he realizes his mistake and he said the bracha was on a he ended up with Zanak or alternatively Alamikhi or Kalkal. So Hainu Bayan. So that is the same as our Ashila that we just had with the beer and the wine. What's the difference? There's no difference between the two. So if that's including that case, we'd be able to resolve our Shila as well. Mara says no. Late Srikha, I'll tell you it's coming to include a different case. And that case, from that case, we would not be able to resolve our shaila. going to Achal Tamri, he ate dates. But he thought he ate bread or cake. 
Pasa Vinahamam. So he starts with the intention of the intention of making the Brach of Azan or Al Michya Vasim Bidatamre and he now ended off with the correct Brach of Dates Vala Aits Yatsa. There he's Yatsa. And there he's Yatsa that it goes the conclusion as long as the conclusion is Yaitza because that feel of Sim because but the even if he had concluded with bread or was like Nami Yatsa. He would also be Yaitza. My time, why is that so? The time and Nami Mesa Zaini. Because dates are also, it gives nourishment. It is also considered Mesa Zain like Zan. So we made the Brach of Azan as a call. It would also be included in that. So be the he would be Yaitza that way anyway. So therefore, you can use, utilize the opening Bracha. But perhaps if the opening Bracha of the Psicha is totally inappropriate, even though the concluding bracha is correct, perhaps you will not be yaitz, so we cannot, we have not resolved our shaila by the beer and the wine. Omar Rabba Barchin and the Sabbath Mishnah the Rav, Kol Shaloi Omar Emes Yatsev Shachrius. After Krishna, if he has not said Emes and Yasev in the morning, the Emes Vamuna Arvis and Emes in the evening, Lo Yatsev Yadei Choyvasa, he is not Yatsev Shinemar Lahagid Babai Kerchaz Decho. In the morning, you have to talk about the Chasodim of the Rabbinu Shaloi Lam and our praises of Emunot Chabalaylois. And therefore, we have to mention the Emes, the Yasev, and Emes, the Amuna, and the Chesar, the Rabbi Nishalayim, he took us out of Mitzrayim, and the Chasarim that he does.